This video is a short demonstration of how to integrate an Xbox Connect with Quartz Composer on Mac OS X. I'm using a couple of pieces of software from, which I've downloaded from the internet. You can find the links to these on my blog. So first piece of software I open is called Synapse. Synapse takes the data from the Xbox Connect and maps it onto my body. You can see in the video now that I'm moving around and the Xbox Connect recognizes all my different limbs. You can also see it recognizes me and removes me from the background. The next thing I have to do is open a piece of software, a Max patch called Quartz Passthrough. What this does is it takes all of these data points and feeds them through into the OSC protocol, essentially a MIDI protocol. This enables us to integrate these points into Quartz Composer. So I'm now opening up Quartz Composer and what I'm going to do is open up a blank project. First of all I leave the clear patch as default in the project. The next thing I'm going to do is find a sprite patch I'm going to take this sprite patch and I want it to fill the screen. So what I'm going to do is double the width of it and times the height by 1.5. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And the second thing I want to do is open up the Quartz plugin which I've installed previously called Synapse Connect and take the feed from that and put that into the image of the sprite. That then feeds us the 3D data. Now what I'd like to do is when I move my right arm about I would like a particle effect to follow that around. So what I've done here is opened up the plugin called My OSC, and as I move my body around you can see all the different limbs, my head, my legs etc all appear in Quartz Composer in the patch. The second thing I want to do now is open up a particle system and I'm obviously going to change this now so I am going to open up a the patch for lenticular halo I'm going to take the image feed from that and turn that into the particle and you can now see that is blended in with the video but it's not moving. So the next thing I need to do is add a structure index member that will take the data from each of these OSC outputs and I'm going to add three maps patches and these are going to convert the data into an appropriate form to move the image. I'll just move these out of the way. So now I have three maths patches. The first one I'm going to divide by the size of the screen which is 640. I'm then going to subtract 1.5 and finally I'm going to multiply that by 0.5. The next thing I do is connect the right arm movement to the structure and the member output to each of these three maths patches which I then connect together and connect this to the X position. So I'm just resizing the screen here. And then I'm going to connect that to X position. Now when I move my arm, the particles are now moving. Not quite right. So I'm going to take all of this information to try something different here. So I'm going to take all of this information and apply it to the y-axis so it now moves up and down as well as left and right. So I'm going to connect that up to the structure member index again. Remember to change the index to 1 on this 
I'm going to leave everything the same except for I'm going to divide it by 480 this time because the screen size is 640 by 480 and times it by minus 0.5. I'm going to leave the middle maths patch exactly the same. Now the particle moves with my hand. I've experienced some problems with this as I cannot get it to track properly yet. So I do think there's some problems with my maths, although I'm working to resolve that.